Hi, this is Family Complex's Jerry Owens, and I've just gotten back from the Portland Retro Gaming Expo 2011. The Portland Retro Gaming Expo is a yearly event where like-minded nerds congregate to play, discuss, and most of all buy classic video games. There's special guests, there's tournaments, and there's a gigantic show floor full of games from every generation. Even modern games are represented. Well, a little bit. I had a lot of fun this year. Some highlights are I got to meet uh, Retro Rob from the Retro Hunters. He is one hell of a great guy. Pat the NES Punk was in attendance as well and showed off his newest video review before it was available to see on his website, which was kind of cool. There was also a Nintendo World Championships tournament, which I was actually trying out for. I actually put in a lot of practice, and when it came right down to it, I got to the Tetris part, I completely bombed. So, for the expo this year, I saved up $320, which is a lot to spend on classic video games. So I'm sure what you want to see isn't me babbling on about the retro gaming expo, what you want to see is what $320 worth of video games looks like. So, without further ado, here are my pickups. Alright, systems. I have a TurboGrafx-16. Uh, this particular system ran me $50, and it has an AV mod, as you can see. The original TurboGrafx-16 only had an RF connection. If you wanted to have a traditional RCA AV out, you had to buy a separate accessory called a Turbo Booster. And so with this, I'm actually saving myself a lot of time and money so that I don't have to buy that Turbo Booster, which is pretty uncommon these days and can run pretty expensive. Alright, next, we have a complete box Commodore 64 home computer. Now this was my first experience with computing and let me tell you this thing brings back great memories. I've been wanting one for a very long time and I finally got one. Boxed and complete the 1541 drive. All the hookups required. Plus he threw in these three Commodore 64 disc games. I picked up a Dreamcast VMU. Finally I can play some Dreamcast games. Picked up a Nintendo Game Genie. Finally picked up some Atari paddle controllers, picked up a gamepad for the CDI, picked up a Sky Shark manual. So this actually completes my copy of Sky Shark that I found at Goodwill a little while ago. I have the box, I have the cartridge, didn't have the manual. This was actually given to me free by the booth that sold me the TurboGrafx-16 system. We'll start with the Super Nintendo because it's on top. Uh, we've got Battletoads and Double Dragon, we've got Aladdin, we've got Mega Man X, and we've got Secret of Mana. For Nintendo games, we've got Bubble Bobble, Shadowgate, Kirby's Adventure, Pictionary, Mappy Land, and a boxed complete copy of Crystalis. If you've never played this game, you should. This game is awesome. Moving on, we've got a copy of Parasol Stars for the TurboGrafx-16, got Dungeon Explorer for the TurboGrafx-16, I have Lunar the Silver Star for the Sega CD, I have Voyeur for the CDI, I have Mega Man X4 for the PlayStation, and I have Nights into Dreams for the Sega Saturn. I've got River Raid, I've got Video Olympics, I have Pitfall, I have Pac-Man, and I have Combat. Lastly, I have Ducks Ahoy for the Commodore 64. Ducks Ahoy is actually kind of special to me because I, it's my first video gaming memory. Well, I loved it when I was a kid. I have no idea how the game works now, I have no idea what's going on in it, but I loved it. So, those are my pickups. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, I may do some more in the future if I ever get any other big hauls.